ladies? Good How are you guys? Uh, fair and square. Since last week I told you a joke and you seem to like having fun and games with, with you want to play another game this morning? Since it's summertime, I, I think it would be okay. I brought a grab bag to church with me today. Okay. There, there's not much telling what's inside this bag. There could be one item or two items or a hundred items. So, uh, <laughs> so if you want to stand up here, you can go first. <laughs> you can reach in there and grab one item out. I feel Hannah, you want to stand up here and grab an item at only one? Oh, wow. There's only one kind of All right. Well, stand up. You too? No. So, since you drew the first item out, we'll start with Hannah. Oh. Uh, what did you draw out? A band-aid. A band-aid. Oh, yeah. So. Ooh. Big as hell. That band look at that band-aid a minute, and how could you, okay. I don't care, how could you relate that band-aid to something Jesus did or tell someone about Jesus with the band-aid? Um, <laughs> she has an easy one. Um, you can put it on your wounds and they'll heal you. Okay. If you ask. All right, well, let's see. what believe in all right, well, let's see what the Bible says. I'll put the up and it. Uh, if we go, there's lots of verses in the Bible like Jesus performing miracles and healing people. Uh, Mark, these are my own words now. I'm, I'm just paraphrasing this. You can read it when you get home. Mark 2.17 tells us, He came to cure the sick and the poor in spirit and to heal our souls and restore our relationship with Him. What a, what'd you draw out of the bag? I got a flashlight. Uh, I'll ask you the same question. What, how could you compare that flashlight to Jesus? His flashlight helps us see in the dark, and Jesus helps guide us whenever we're in the dark and our like vision is clouded from all the sins that we have done, and he is our flashlight that guides us through the dark. This is almost like y'all come over and we prepared this together. <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome. Well, John uh, 7, verse 12 tells us, Then Jesus spake again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follow me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Uh, yeah, I can say that. Yeah. So, uh, Brother Jerry can help me on this one. Uh, in the coal mines, when you turn your cap light off, or even when you got your light on, it's dark, isn't it? Yeah. And, you can't see anything. You, and uh, I stumble and fall down all the time. I mean, I, it's just part of my job. I get used to falling down. Isn't that true? Did you stumble and fall when you was working? Yes. And Jesus says he's the light of the world. And Jesus provides us with light so we don't stumble. What are some hazards in life that cause us to stumble? Well, all right, this is a preacher's daughter now. <laughs> yep, drinking. Uh, metaphorically or like physically? Anything. <laughs> so, it, it goes for the when you can trip people and they'll fall and stuff. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's other forces out there that try to cause us to stumble and fall. That's why it's so important to stay with Jesus. Or you can do bad things and fall away from mm -hmm. Jesus. So now, getting back to the other things that cause us to stumble and fall, the devil's out there. He has demons, and he may just you like dancing, don't you? He may throw up a dance recital on Sunday, Easter Sunday morning. You know, you, you're your number one qualifier. Hey, you're going to be the world champion of all champions. Oh, I want to go. You know, I see what I mean. That's how the devil acts. So. When you get saved, it's very important for you young ladies to come to church. You know why? In the New Testament, it tells us that when we become saved and become a believer, we're supposed to join a local New Testament church. And you know why that is? Not just a New Testament church. Well, what does it say? 
Bible gives me by the roots. <laughs> That's a New Testament church. Huh? No, really. Because the Old Testament's in the Bible. Okay. Well, the reason we're supposed to go to church is we, we share each other's burdens, we help each other, and we, we learn of God's love, and we keep God close to our hearts by his, our pastor preaching to us. So I just want you girls to remember that. And uh, do you have anything else you'd like to add? No. All righty. We'll stand and say a short prayer. Father in heaven, we love you and praise you today, Lord. We thank you for these young ladies that come to church. We ask a special blessing over their life, dear Lord. We ask that you keep them safe and let them grow up and be strong leaders of the community. Lord, just ask them to just be do good works for you. Lord, we ask you to look down upon our church, Lord, and keep our light shining bright for the community.